So today I'm gonna cook some crepes. Once in a while you want to treat yourself, right? Crepes are very, very versatile. And I think it's very good for a full day of gaming. Hi there guys, Ardir here. Welcome to my kitchen. So today I'm gonna cook some crepes. Let's just go cook. The basic ingredients for the crepes are flour, eggs and milk. Then I'm gonna do savory crepes utilizing cheese and ham. And then we're gonna go into the dessert crepes, the classic ones, which I'm gonna use uh, some chocolate spread and uh, strawberries, whipped cream, and then I'm gonna do peanut butter ones. Okay, so crepes are a pretty complicated dish, but it can also be made very simple. Let me show you the easiest way I have to make them. And then afterwards for the filling, you can just go crazy or you can go simple. Again, they're just very versatile. You can do whatever you want with them. Simple and efficient, one cup of flour to start things off. Into the flour, you want to just crack one egg. If you want to make it easier, I would crack two eggs. Eggs just make it way easier to not uh, mess up. And you just bash them around the same way I get uh, wrecked in Hearthstone tournaments. Just mix it a little bit. And now, once the eggs catch some of the flour, you want to start incorporating the milk. You need like half a little of milk. Ideally, you want to mix only in one direction, just like the boy band, but you can do whatever you want. You're not gonna mess up the flour though, to be honest. Okay. You don't want it like this. You want it way juicier. So go ahead and splash a little bit more milk. By the way, I'm using full fat milk. When you're doing crepes, you're probably not on a diet and you want something filling for like a long and nice gaming session. Yeah, I'll just go with all the milk. Again, I don't think I can go wrong with this. You want a little bit of oil in the pan. And then after oiling the pan, you kind of want to put the oil back or you want to put it in like something else. I'll put it here because I don't want the crepes to be ruined by like how much oil they have. Okay. You take one big gulp and just put it in the pan. Swirl it around a little bit. Just mix all of those ingredients together. You can also season directly into the bowl. Whichever way you want it. You can also do them without salt because the ingredients, most of them already have the salt. I will use ham and cheese, which is not typical ingredients for crepes. If you tell a Romanian that you're gonna do ham and cheese crepes, they're gonna consider you crazy. But the French, the French have perfected the style of doing this type of uh, crepe for a long period of time. And to be honest, I prefer the savory ones to the normal ones. And bam, with the flip. Let go, baby. After the flip, really, really fast, put in the cheese and the ham. Just one slice is enough, don't go too crazy. And once the cheese starts melting, you want to cover it and then uh, flip it like one or two more times. Okay, it starts melting. This thing is too big. Just like my appreciation for everybody watching today. Okay, one flip. And now, bam, one more. I want a little bit of color on the crepe. I don't want uh, it bland, like my gameplay. Oh my God, the cheese is already oozing out. This is perfect, just made in heaven. I will put the savory one on one plate and I'll put the sweet ones together on the other plate because I don't want to mix sweet and savory, but if I mix the sweet ones together, I don't really care. Okay, just. One, two, three, four, let's just go. Bam, perfect. Almost perfect, usually the first one is gonna be damaged, but I'm a real professional. Like literally, if I stop playing competitive Hearthstone, I could be a professional chef. I'm joking, they will probably not even hire me in a fast food joint. My recommendation for the sweet uh, crepes is to just do them, slap them on the plate, and then just leave them there and fill them add the ingredients afterwards. You don't want to put the sweet stuff into the pan because then you're gonna get the heat into them and ruin some of the dishes. I wanna go a little bit crazier on this one and perform a flip for you guys. My life is too simple. Playing Hearthstone all day. I wanna just make it more difficult. Okay, are you ready? Oh, nobody saw that. 
I will not use the spatula anymore. Woo! Let's go. This definitely didn't take a hundred takes. Definitely, I got it uh, in the first time. <laughs> now I'm gonna let it a little bit more and then put it on the plate, uh, top it off and make it very interesting. So, the crepe goes on the plate. We are going to use just um, hazelnut chocolate paste on this one. I'll lay it down in the middle. Now, I will softly cover it and then do this again. This is like the Romanian style of having the crepes. I will keep this uh, nearby just for the next one, okay. And again, go with a little bit of uh, cream. One strawberry on top, or you can go more strawberries, whatever you want. It's your choice. For the last crepe, I'm going to just use simple peanut butter. Very high protein uh, way of um, feeling the crepe. And I think it's very good for, uh, again, a full day of gaming. The double swirl, and here you have it. Savory crepe with ham and cheese. You can use chicken, you can use beef or whatever type of protein you'd like on the savory crepe. And for the sweet ones, we have um, chocolate spread with uh, fruits and peanut butter. Again, you can just go crazy, use whatever type of sauce or sweet thing that you want. Crepes are very, very versatile. Let's get into the savory one first. I want to cut and show you the interior. Mm. Before some big tournaments, I usually eat like three or four of those and I'm just ready for the whole day. It's fantastic. Now, let's have the sweet ones. Don't go too crazy on those because they have a high amount of calories. But once in a while, you want to treat yourself, right? Mmm. The peanut butter is so good with the crepe. And now I want to taste the chocolate and the strawberry at the same time with the whipped cream. It's a little bit of a mouthful, but let's go. Mmm. I'm in heaven. This has been the episode. If you like it, uh, don't forget to show it to us by clicking the like button and the subscribe button. You can also find me on Twitter and Twitch at G2RDU and RDU Live. Thank you for watching and have a great day.